All right, uh, here is the list of the Davy O'Brien Award watch list. Now, there's two lists here. One, the Big 12 nominees, and then we'll get to ones that are notable names that are not a part of this list with Beck, Daniels, Fafita, Finn, Garrett Green, KJ, the incoming uh, transfer, UCF, and then Cam Rising and Shador Sanders. I don't know if anybody on that list that was good to see Beck and also even Daquan Finn, who's been on a couple of different lists. Garrett Green's getting some love. Uh, that's uh, what, eight of the 16 teams with at least the watch list that can you can drop off and you could also be added to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of who I would put on. It's where Daquan Finn hasn't even won the job yet. Uh, and he's he's on that the list. we know of all, all those other all those other guys uh, are definitely the starter uh, at their school. Um, I, I'm trying to think of who's like Donovan Smith is a guy who could sneak on the list mm -hmm. if they do well. He's a guy getting some NFL buzz because of his build, but uh, we got to see him not throw a thousand interceptions first. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, Alan Bowman's not on the list, and I'm not surprised about that because he's not a stats monster. Um, uh, uh, Baron Morton? Baron Morton's not on the list because he's not been healthy. But, and a lot of this now, again, a lot of this is what have you already put up. It's not like, for example, you can forecast somebody that possibly that should be a part of this list, and uh, this is a list that's also for what have you done. Now, Cam Rising the last year and a half, not much because of injuries, but everybody else on this list has put something up at some point, even if it was for one year, even Beck, who played uh, last year as the starter for a team that made a ball game. So there we are. There's the, the notables list with names that are a lot of Heisman Trophy candidates. Uh, Carson Beck. There's Kyron Drones at Virginia Tech, former Baylor quarterback. Ewers... Gabriel, uh, those three uh, out of four, with all due respect to Kyron Drones, great guy, and I hope he has a great year, especially when they play Florida State. Do they play them this year? No. No, they don't. Uh, those are three of the probably top-rated uh, Heisman Trophy candidates with Beck, Ewers, and Gabriel. Seth Hennigan played high school ball in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Dad's a coach. Haynes King, our good friend from Longview, former A&M quarterback. There's SMU's Preston Stone and another former Baylor quarterback. Oh, I, I, I screwed that up. Garrett, he's at UAB. Gosh, just dang it, that's that. my fault. He Jacob was Zeno just on the show from a week UAB. Ago. Well, I mean, he transferred. Yeah, so he was, he was so excited about being on 365 Sports. So uh, Jacob Zeno, before everyone loses their mind, he's at UAB and UAB. We apologize because they gave us the opportunity to talk to him. That's Garrett for not being but, a very good editor. Uh, by the way, uh, Kyron Jones, I feel, was confident in saying all the things he said about Florida State, knowing he wouldn't have to play them until the championship game. Mm, God, it's not bulletin board material until then. No, it, it's not until yeah. you until you so. do have to play them. So remember yesterday, uh, Will Howard, there was a quote about how he doesn't feel like he has to be Superman at Ohio State. Well, Avery Johnson had this quote about what's happening with their offense. And he goes, hey, we've looked really explosive at times. We've just been trying to get the ball to our playmakers. We have a lot of playmakers and a lot of people that can do special things with the ball in their hands. So it's my job to get it to them and let them go out there and do their thing. Well, uh, Avery Johnson is um, a special talent when it comes to that. And he could do, like, he gives me Johnny Manziel vibes a little bit of, it's it, like the play's never over until. I, I don't think, I, 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 it'll be fun to see if he can do that. That's hard to compare somebody. He had he like he was a player that had the quickest twitch that I could remember yeah. at the quarterback position, other than maybe Michael Vick, in a different type now, style. But I, I mean, Johnny Manziel was like he was being tased even yeah. when he was in control. Yeah, it would. And Johnny Manziel's career was made so much better by the fact that he had Mike Evans to where yeah those they yes. improv. <laughs> yep, oh, I'm, I'm trying so to get well this together. Yeah, no, they Mike Evans bailed him out, but you know what? A, the good receivers do that. Uh, you got to just get it to him. If you have a big, tall receiver, physical like Mike Evans, get it in his area, and he's going to make plays. And not all the time, but he did uh, uh, quite a bit for him. And he's making great plays. He's been doing that for, what, now a decade or more in the NFL. Dana Holgerson, remember, joined Sonny Dykes and his staff as uh, basically what we thought was an analyst. Here's Joseph Duarte when Holgerson today speaking to reporters in Fort Worth asked about moving from being a head coach to an advisor role. A lot less stressful. No kidding. I'm not going to predict what the future is going to be. I know. I don't know or care. And uh, basically, he goes, I, I look better. I feel better. I'm in better shape physically. Uh, you can see the quotes from what he said. Uh, and then also, 
He was asked about his responsibilities. Now, remember when Dave Aranda told us when Gary Patterson was still a part of at least the program that he would not be a part of game day responsibilities, which now with the new rules of analysts that are allowed to do more, uh, Holgerson, I'm not going to have game day uh, responsibilities. I'll do something I haven't done in 30-plus years. I'll tailgate, and believe me, he oh. can. He yeah. will He will be fun hey. to be around. Are, can good we for, go up to him. it? Can we go up to a TCU tailgate this year? Can mm. we make that happen? That would be fun. Well, that would be. Let's invite him down to ours, man. I Yeah, Holgo? Oh, let's do it, buddy. Let's go. Let's get it on camera and let's rock. Uh, no, that, that, I, I think he'd be fun to hang around. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, Bobby B., uh, Daquan Finn hasn't even taken a game-time snap yet. And he's a candidate? No, he played at Toledo and had a hell of a well, run. Well, he was the MAC Offensive Player of the Year. Yeah, no, so, it's, it's yeah. not like he like, like he just showed up and hasn't played much. Uh, and, and that's why he's on the list. Again, it's about what you have done, some credentials you put up or stats you put up, production you put up. And uh, and so I don't see – I have no problem with Daquan B. And if he was playing at Michigan State, I'd feel the same way uh, I mean, a, the, about that. The only thing I brought up about it is, is Baylor – as far as we know right now, uh, is what have been told that they're still in a quarterback competition. And we know how it went through the spring was one day Daquan would have a good day, one day Sawyer would have a good day, and they never really had a good day through those 15 or so practices at the same time. And so, but part of that is also Daquan Finn was running a different offense and Sawyer Robertson was running a different offense and Jake Spavitol was at a different place and all three of them are, and, and the other quarterbacks too, but they're all learning each other together. So really the good work that they are going to do is probably now after they've had some time to sit with things and learn, like, you know, you can have a bad day physically because your brain is going, okay, we're going to run 34, blah, 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 and then you're, you're screwed up and you're all over the place. I, I think they're actually in a pretty good spot when it comes to quarterbacks. Now, the guys standing in front of them is a different question, but Daquan I, Finn was the MAC right. player of the year. I also think that the two young men competing, Finn and, and Sawyer Robertson, uh, whoever's not named day one starter will be disappointed, as they should, uh, will not stop competing. I don't think they're going to start like calling other places because they can't go anywhere right now. I, I think that you got two pretty good young men that are in that position. We'll see what happens. Uh, we mentioned some of the commits and stuff. We're not going to do that every day, but uh, Texas A&M defensive lineman DJ Sanders committed to A&M from Belleville. That's Richard Reese's uh, alma mater, the high school team, and uh, Grady Rowe, the head coach, a heck of a player uh, in, uh, in Sanders, uh, chose A&M over Texas and also Michigan top 75 recruit. So he got his commitment done to Texas A&M. Now, this is one of those t- texts that Paul sends me but there's nothing to test other than a link. But bringing the past to the present, Oklahoma is going to have a throwback uniform. Is that right against Houston during their game early this year? I, I think that's a problem with your uh, computer, not me. Again, that's, that's what I got. It just means it doesn't populate. So, well, I, I, mean, that's, I don't that's think I can problem. populate anything hey, anymore. Garrett, I sent you this tweet. I, it, it worked for me. It did work for me. All right. You know, uh, when you, when you, uh, you know, drink the water of the old Windows computer and don't get on the apple tree here, you know. Let's go on. Do, do these look like eerily similar to Nebraska? Does this make you frustrated a little bit? Have you seen this? It's a different color. I know that, but it looks too much like Nebraska. Very to me. similar. It almost looks like more Nebraska 1970s Nebraska, Fair. which is kind of what they're doing here. This is back in the 60s and even back when Bud Wilkinson was the coach. So, yeah, I, I, the stripe down the leg, I kind of like that. Uh, but they're, they are a little bit more of a – Raspberry, no, what is it? Uh, it's more crimson, mm-hmm. where Nebraska's scarlet red. I mean, so a little bit of a difference, but very close, especially when it was black and white. Yeah, that's you couldn't tell hardly any of the teams were part. Illinois, throwing out these babies. Throwback uniforms when they play Michigan October the 19th. The 1920s themed uniforms commemorating the 100th anniversary of Red Grange and his sixth touchdown game against Michigan. Yeah, these are awesome. I, like I that went, absolutely looks like a leather helmet. 
I actually think these look better than their regular uniforms. I've never oh, they really I, do. I've never much cared yeah, for Yeah, they the, kind of got an orange and, and like blue or whatever color. Yeah. And like their Illinois logo again looks to me like somebody just you know, put it in a thing and then just went font 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 until they got to one they liked. It just I like the ones that they have just the eye on the helmet and they do that. Those those look better, but this uh this is awesome. As a matter of fact, I already know what a green gridiron person we're going to make is. Ooh. Is probably that helmet right there. Uh, to bring that up, the, mm. while the tight end, we got some new ones today, uh, Smokey. What back here, green gridiron helmets? What's the one right there behind, next to Florida State? That is Air Force. That was the or the Tusky or Oregon, they, Oregon State's in there. Yeah, Oregon State's been here, but we got. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't see the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we got a Notre Dame helmet. We've got UTSA and SMU. Saw that. I can't believe Jeff Trailer didn't autograph one. Uh, we've got Notre Dame. We got uh, the one I, I wanted you to know. This was right here between Notre Dame and Army. Mm. Do you know who that is? Hold on. You should. The one, the one next to Florida State. No, Florida State is that's Air Force. That's their Tuskegee Airmen helmet. Right. Okay. Then there's Army. That's one of their special helmets. Right. Then there's Notre Dame, and then there's one in the middle. That's a Nebraska, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, their black uniforms no, that that's, they wear. That's Navy right there next to Notre Dame. No, no, no. I knew the Navy. Okay. What's the black helmet? That's Army. Oh. That's in one of the Army oh, ones. What's the one next to Army? Air Force. Oh. That's one of their special helmets. Man, I would have not. I would not. But yeah, the black army helmet, uh, just, just those uniforms. I know there's some that go, "Hey, an army and navy play." It's boring. I love no. the game, and we got plenty of time until the next one. I get emotionally all tied up in that game. Uh, speaking of uh, getting tied up, the game in Dublin, Ireland, between Florida State and also Georgia Tech has been sold out. Uh, it is a sellout. Forty-seven thousand tickets have been snapped up for that game over in Dublin. Ireland, congratulations. They'll sell that baby out. Economic impact of nearly, what is it, 115 million pounds uh, for the local Irish economy set to welcome well, welcome about 25 to 30,000 fans into their uh, location. Uh, Nick Foles, NFL Super Bowl big, winning quarterback. Big former 12 from great. Austin Westlake, <laughs> by the way. And then he went to uh, Michigan State. Big 12. Yeah, Big 12. He went to Arizona. Oh, that's right. That counts, great. right? Just like yeah. the Pac-12 just, guys and hey. girls that win Olympic medals is the yeah. ACC. Yeah. I mean, just like Katie Ledecky is ACC star. Yeah, that's... that's all. Of the, I mean, she, she owes is. it all to I mean, her ACC coaching I mean, and education. Greatest ACC game of all time was Cal Stanford. I yeah. mean, bottom line, that's I'm, just the way it is. I mean, look, I, I have no problem saying this, but I think that she's the greatest ACC athlete that's ever lived. <laughs> No, there's got to be somebody better. She's good. She's good. But I don't know about greatest athlete. I mean, I mean, a lot, a lot of golds. Where did Mark From Spitz the, go to school? UCLA. He's a Big Ten athlete. Big Ten guy. Yeah. So my, Nick Foles is announced after 11 years. He's now going to retire from the NFL. Won a Super Bowl with the Eagles. Played at Westlake High School. And then, of course, also played at Michigan State, which sometimes you forget about. And then, as you mentioned, Paul, at Arizona. I uh, was at the Super Bowl that he won for the Eagles. It was wild. Uh, it was, uh, I mean, top to bottom, it's one of the best sporting events I've ever been to outside of the fact that when you walked outside, you wanted to die. But uh, it was, I mean, just crazy loud with the Eagles fans in particular. Um, the Philly special was something I'll never forget seeing live. Uh, I wouldn't have forgot if I watched it on TV, but it was just seeing it live and the way the crowd reacted to it was unbelievable. Justin Timberlake was the halftime show. That was unreal. Uh, you know, it was just such a, a crazy, crazy game. Uh, and then, you know, Philly takes the lead and gives Tom Brady, you know, over a minute or so to to come back and win it. And then the true... Like, Super Bowl, like, this is why they were the best team was. Most teams in the NFL, you give Tom Brady two minutes mm -hmm. to only have to get a few yards. Uh, they're going to do it, and they went out and sacked him right away. Yep. And they were ready to go. They knew blood in the water. They weren't intimidated and and brought this first Super Bowl to Philadelphia um, for in, in forever. You know, guys so. like Nick Foles, Case Keenum, the long, long Chase careers. Daniel. Chase oh. Daniel. Mark, uh, Mark uh, Smith went it? to Indiana, apparently, so still a Big Ten athlete. Okay. Right now, uh, Paula, 
If you swim 1,500 in the time that KL did, then tell me she's not great. That's not what I said, but I appreciate the comment. I didn't say, what I said is that not that she's not great. At what she does, she's phenomenal. And among the people in the conversation, but to say she's the greatest athlete in ACC history, I would need a list in front of me of who else is up for that decision, uh, up mean, for that conversation. I mean, I, I, I'll stand by it until you prove me wrong. Nobody dominates her sport like they, 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 she does. I will spend the rest of the night thinking about how I'm going to come back with seven options as I good mean, or better. They, they, be, they better, they, they mean, you know, all right. I'm, I'll take her over Deion Michael Sanders Jordan? in actual ACC. Look, Michael Jordan is kind of good at things. No. See, well, you just already <laughs> blew a hole in that right there, right? <laughs> just yeah. saying. All right, so I got a question for you. You guys don't answer it at the same time. And I'm, I'm telling you, be careful how you answer. Paula says, go, Paul. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay, Paula, I mean, you and I, it's, okay, it's over. Yeah, well, so, good. Answer this question, but I want you to see if you can answer it quickly. The college football playoff, correct, 12 teams. Mm -hmm. Is that a set bracket, or will they change as the rounds go by? I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to change it just like they would do the selection show because they're going to have to build up the anticipation, and they're going to have to drive in the eyeballs and everything. I think I'm pretty sure you're going to see the same style. Yeah. The bracket is fixed. Okay. This was uh, Andy Staples. I'll give him credit in his uh, mailbag, whatever they call it. Uh, the bracket is fixed. The teams are not reseeded. And I didn't. I'm. I'm, I'm not saying, Garrett. I. I. Man. I. My brain I mean, yeah, got just like how things would work. A little typically. bit sideways with this one because I was wondering. Uh, so, in other words, uh, the requirement to be a conference champion, you get to be one through four. Odd dynamic that likely gives the number five seed an advantage, but it doesn't change. It doesn't change. Now you don't know who you're going to play. If you're one of the teams that are, you know, until you see who survives the opening, what is it, uh, four games? Yeah, the opening four games. But it has not changed. It has not receded. And, and I, I'm of the opinion that's what makes the NCAA men's basketball tournament so special is that if a, a, a top seed or a high seed or a couple of them in your bracket or in your region, they get out and you get a free run, I, hey, good. Yeah. You know, that you still have That's, to win to be able to have the opportunity to clean up because somebody else was in front of you that you thought you probably wouldn't beat, and they're no longer in front of you. And um, in the short term, I do think that the people who are like, well, the teams are just going to, you know, the teams of the buyer, the top teams are just going to beat the teams that show up anyway. But, I mean, basketball doesn't work that way. Now, look, there was probably a time – when basketball first expanded the tournament where there were less upsets. But as this thing has gone on, look, we didn't see a, a, a 116 or 16-1 upset for the entirety of the 64 uh, and more team tournament until a couple two years, years ago. ago. Yeah, and yep. now we've seen two of them. Yeah, no, you're so right. Yep. If you just give it time, if you just give it time, it'll be fine. So you and Paul are a thing, right? You and Paula? Paula? I mean, we're uh, I mean, uh, clearly pals. Uh, I, here's one that will test your manhood. Okay. Tiger Woods. I mean, also a great a ACC athlete at Stanford. But, you know, uh, he's, made, Are some, you kidding he's me? made some personal missteps that uh, Katie Ledecky just won't make. She's young. <laughs> yeah. Don't know. She's young. I mean. No, I. I um, some of us. Understand that you're still young. You, yeah. you, uh, yeah, no, I don't want I, anyone to make any missteps, but she's very much just a youngin. Yeah, no, I, I, I get it, but, uh, man, uh, you know what? Uh, Tiger, Tiger Woods has won golf tournaments how Katie Ledecky has won. Yeah. Uh, uh, won, like the, when he the, won, when he won the Masters by 12 or whatever it was, I would, the U.S. Open, I mean, like, I understand the that the yeah. whole thing is not to quit and all that in the Olympics, but, if I was any of the other swimmers in that 1500, I would have given serious thought to, is it worth it to stand up on, like, to be the silver and bronze medalist in this when we are clearly swimming a different race than this How many people is? remember the silver medalist? N n no one really Very does. few. Yeah, but uh, uh, but my point was... And that's unfortunate because that's an amazing accomplishment. It's still, like, you're number two among everybody in the world at that particular sport. Yeah. Um, and Every it's, four it's years. It's a great accomplishment, like, especially for someone who's never medaled before and maybe, like, they win a silver and then they go on to win a couple golds. It's a big deal, but... In that particular race, 
watching it in the 1500. I was like, do you, if they said, would you like to go up to the podium? I'm like, no, can you FedEx me this medal? Cause I don't think that we hell out jump up there, man. And, uh, and, I mean, yeah. it was just, she, yeah, she dominant. When, and they were in the production booth actively going, what camera angle do we have so that we can prove that this is not one person doing this alone? Yeah, no, uh, uh, Clint Moses, I miss Craig. He will be back on Monday. Craig, I don't think really right now is I don't think really caring about this all. show. I think he's probably uh, either he's uh, just chilling somewhere in the hill country. Uh, maybe he's in Tyler or he's where he is in, in Waco and just enjoying peace and quiet. That's the way he rolls. I, I promise you he hasn't thought about any of us here one second. And I'm even related to him. Yeah. Barry Switzer Light Lager. This is a beer, and that is uh, Greg oh. Horton, just a, a, like a, a, I think, a, a, what do you call it, a, a freelance writer, put that up. I saw Switzer actually put it up, too, but Barry Switzer, light hey, lager. Emery, are you, are you making a trip back to your ancestral home anytime soon? I think so. Can you, okay. if you... Can you get some? Get, like, get a, a, a hot, not hot, but get a, a six-pack, and we'll put... One of them on the back. Okay, more than six, Emery. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll throw them down. Yeah, but. we'll see what we can do. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Get, yeah. And if not, I can definitely, I'll, I'll have one of my people bring it up. One okay. of my people. All yeah. right. Well, but let's not forget that uh, Bush Light, Bud Light, and Michelob Ultra are the sponsors, the beer sponsors of 365 Sports. Yeah. But we just, I they mean. They got I'll, somebody's paying attention I, here. I, well, I still, I just want to try it and see, you know. All right. I, if it, look, we got a break. It, Barry Switzer is involved in it, and it's an alcohol. I, I kind of have a feeling it's going to be pretty good.